Hello and welcome to some Be Open here at Kansas. This is my second attempt because my first attempt in the previous time slot was only three laps long. We, uh, I was in the high lane, guy in front of me got into the wall and I was barely able to check up in time. I kind of maybe tapped him a little bit in the rear end, but I couldn't turn down because we were in the middle of the corner, full speed. And uh, so I couldn't get like lower on the track, but I was thankfully able to slow down. However, the guy that was a couple car lengths back behind us somehow was not able to slow down. <laughs> and uh, I was the one receiving the <laughs> blunt force trauma of that one. And uh, it caused a huge wreck because it was still, like I said, lap three, only lap three. And uh, everyone was still bunched up and everyone just started piling in. You know, took several shots and got like 10 minutes of damage. So it, my race was over on lap three, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, I would have uploaded it if I made it a little longer, but nothing to see there. So why was this lap so bad? <laughs> why am I four tenths off my all time best? What? I know I could do better than that. So why didn't I? Am I underdriving it maybe? 31? I'm normally in the 30s. And I feel like I wasn't even going like way easy or anything. I didn't think. I was in all this time in the corners. So that's weird. Look at that. I was... Is it just track temp? Huh. So 31129. That was slower. Am I forgetting how to drive this combo? <laughs> like, I'm so confused. Huh. Also, I'm getting the message about my engine temps already, and it's only like lap 3. Maybe I have to lower the tape a little bit. Oh, that's weird. I am using, um... Mm -hmm. I am using the OSR setup. Watch your speed. Daniel uh, Shell was actually... Schnell? Why do I always forget if it's got an N in it or not? I'll get back to you on that one in a second, but he provided a setup. He, he's the one that provides the setups for Nick and Gavin, and uh, he gave one of his older ones out on uh, Gavin's Discord very kindly. Uh, he said it was one of the old ones, and uh, it seems like maybe it was one that was from before some grip updates, and so he said that he found it was actually really, really bad loose at the end of a long run, but... Uh, I kind of I tried it out and I was getting similar kind of um, hot lap times, and uh, I'm very tempted to give it a try because when he uh, when I got one of his setups uh, for the trucks at Phoenix a while back, that setup was absolute money. <laughs> I got a w I was able to win the race um, whenever I gave that a go, so that was an amazing setup so i'm very tempted however i think i'm going with the osr just for now um I'd, I'd love to try both i'd love to come back and try it again i don't know if i'm gonna have time the rest of this week but i'm gonna give the osr setup a try if only because i've watched nick's video and it was working really well for him and he was able to get a nice finish and so i already know for a fact that one's gonna that one's got the potential to be good and then there was like some question marks with daniel said for like the the long run it getting like real loose at the end and stuff like that so um i'm gonna kind of go with the safer option is what i kind of decided i think but it was very tempting that's for sure to uh give that a try there's no n in his name by the way it's shell i don't know why i always want to add an n like schnell <laughs> I, I don't know but we have fallen to ninth. I don't know where all my speed went. I didn't put tape on. That probably would have helped. Yeah, that probably would have helped a lot. In fact, that reminds me. I'm actually going to lower it a couple because that was really quick to be getting that message. Even though my crew chief's really sensitive about that stuff, that was pretty quick. Only like three laps in. So lower that a couple. Might not be necessary, but go ahead and do that. So, we are about to get started here, only about 10 seconds to go. Interesting. 
So, hopefully this goes a little bit better than my uh, absolute knockout shot I received last time on lap 3. I've heard people uh, saying this has been kind of messy this week, which kind of surprised me a little bit. Um, usually Xfinity cars usually don't seem so bad, and the races I've seen haven't been messy. But uh, they must have uh, had some good luck, the people that I watched or something. So. Um, last race lost me about a hundred I rating, even though I was, I think it was like a six car, but obviously I finished like 27th or something horrible. So, um, lost like a, a good 100 I rating back to like, what am I at now? 4,400. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have a nice race, get some back, but whatever. Meaningless numbers anyway, but fun to try to build it up, see where you can take it. Frames are kind of dropping a little bit. That doesn't become a problem. It's been getting kind of weird lately with my frames. I've been having a couple instances where the frames drop enough to be a little distracting. Which is not my favorite, but hopefully should be okay here. Look at session last lap up, so we can be consistent, and we should be rolling here in just a moment. 90 laps here at Kansas. Very hot track. I did happen to look at it. It's a 110 degree track right now. Guy sounds like he's in a windstorm talking. I couldn't understand what he said. I don't know why I followed pit road speed right there. It's not necessary. It is second gear start, from what I understand. I did last time and it worked pretty well. So not does not too bad, um, especially as of the five car. I mean, I felt like I really left a lot of speed on the table, but you know, we, we still qualified ahead of a handful of people, and that's not too bad at all. I think this will be just fine. Obviously, plenty of time in the race to move about. So let's just hope we uh, <laughs> we can si survive to see about 90 laps. And not three. Get ready, going green. Watching that orange car up there for the jump. Coast car is off, time to do your job. Waited a long time. And I lost sight of him at one point. I don't want to be like driving all the way down to the apron or anything, trying to see him. So Outside. It's taking it real easy. I don't want to take him three wide or anything. Not three wide, he's just not up on the top. Not giving me any room for some reason. Alright. Apron. Leave him a door just in case. Don't want to close the door on him Not unnecessarily. But now we got it clear by like plenty. And, uh, let's see what we got up here on top. This guy's. I wasn't sure if he was gonna leave me room, so. Ugh, oh, got a little bit of apron there, that would have been pretty pretty good otherwise. Can't quite clear him, that's too bad. Try to get as much of a good entry as we can. Clear up top, car outside. Still there, hold your line. Okay, Colton. Heat load, which looks quite high. Stay low, there is a car. Yeah, there's that engine outside. temperature warning again. I'm glad I'd lowered that a couple. I don't think it'll be an issue, but it makes me feel a little bit better. 
knowing that we added a little bit of threshold. Ooh, got pitched pretty good on entry there, but it works. That's what I wanted. Got to leave the door open for him up there. All right, so we're gonna get back to the top. This setup is pretty feeling pretty good though. I think if it were like a regular week and the OSR setup was just kind of like eh, I probably almost definitely would have given ooh, given a Daniel's setup a try. But since this week it's actually pretty darn good. That kind of made me feel okay with just taking this one to the track today. I don't know how to save tires here at uh, Kansas, so probably that's probably going to bite us eventually. But hopefully not bite us too hard. You can use the seams much here to get the thing turning some more. You've just done a 32.0. And this thing's kind of weird. <laughs> Ooh, got a little bit of wall. Inside. Go high. I'm not going to let him pass. That is not in my best interest, so I don't think he's faster than we are. Because I am going pretty easy right now. I don't know how hard to push, or exactly where I want to be on the track. It looks like the other guys are running that middle line, but... Or that lower line. I guess that's probably where the tires are going to be happiest. I don't know. I like mile and a half tracks for sure. Kansas has not always been my best though, especially relative to other mile and a half. I've made some dumb mistakes here in the past and uh, embarrassed myself. So, I don't know what it is, but this one doesn't work quite as well for me, typically. Hanging in there though, we're top five right now. Can't feel too bad about that. Just a little bit of break on entry, maybe. All right, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. Oh no! Caution. Pit road is closed right now. Sets of tires. Line up single file behind car number thirty. We're under caution. It's closed. 13 gallons still needed to make it to the end, so we're not even close on fuel, huh? Interesting. These races... I, I had a huge freeze there. I don't know if I caused that just by not moving or whatever. But I, I can see you first, so I four seconds left. So I want to hear what he had to say. These races can uh, uh, can end up messy, so I might want to save some tires here. If everybody pits ahead of me, I will come in. But if anyone else decides to stay out, I will stay out. Okay. Fair enough, fair the enough. Speed limit is 45 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. The pit box is engine temperatures are now back to normal. Five, three, two, one. Right here. 
94, 93. I like the right rear being more worn. I like to see that a lot. So this is the play in case this thing goes green longer. Move it, move it. We'll start have to, having to think about things a little bit more. If uh, we start getting more cautions. 14 must have taken right sides or something. It's an interesting play this early in the race. So I imagine he would have come out in the lead if he just took fuel or something. I could be wrong. I'm glad I'm not going to be behind him, though. Directly on the restart. Just in case. It's still too much fuel to save to make that realistic, so... I hope we get some green laps. I made it past lap 3 this time. And uh, it seems like everyone was doing pretty darn well. Everybody was holding it together and... Well, I don't know what happened behind us to cause that wreck, but... Everyone up here seemed to be given room and everything. Had some fun racing right off the right off the bat there. Nine point four gallons. All right. Let's hope we uh, get some space again and we don't start having uh, rapid fire cautions. Wait for this thing to fall apart. Why even have the trunk 11? About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is in. Guy on the outside did not go at all. That's why I was glad I was not behind him. I don't even think that's because of tires. I think he just was sleeping or something, but... Get through turn one and two. Turns one and two pretty well there. Heck, if we just want to stay in a single file line here and maybe get some distance or something, that would be cool. I'm a, I'm a okay with that. If that's what the play is, but let's see. They look like they're ready to start passing though. So, so much for that. I didn't really expect it to actually happen. And a little bit of aero push. Got the guy in front of me feeling a little bit tighter. Sorry about that. Don't want to get on this guy's inside necessarily. It was pretty good getting down near that white line like that. That's probably a good way to save tires, right there. Easy mid corner until you kind of get most of the way through. That probably would be good for a lot. This is nine coming up on us. Let's see if they're uh, ready to pass right away. On ourselves in fourth, though. Feeling good, man. It was pretty fun. Like I said, I'm usually pretty bad at Kansas, but uh, this feels this is driving pretty well. It's very enjoyable to drive. 
And I don't know if I've done Kansas ever since I started doing open races instead of fixed races. That could be a part of it, too. I feel like Kansas setups were always so tight. If I remember correctly. We'll see what, uh, how driving down on the bottom there will treat the tires. See how that goes. So far so good though. Yeah, I feel it's getting just a little bit of extra rotation down there when I'm on the throttle. It's feeling uh, pretty good. Alright, it's coming up on me. I'm gonna go ahead and take that apron every time. I think it's just, it, it saves you about, I don't know, maybe half a, like a thousandth or something, but Figure it adds up potentially. Seems to make at least a little bit of a difference. Side by side in front of us. At least they were. Uh, it's getting tighter. Might have to move up the track now. A higher line. Seems to be like what happens here. More often than not. Start the run out on the lower side of the track. And then it moves up over time. Make the switch here, see how this feels. Obviously gonna get a much better run off that way. That was much faster. Alright, we'll bring it up here. It's getting loose up here too, so I, I like it. I think I'm gonna happily start doing that. I thought he was going to take the apron, so I had to lift off because I was kind of in between there. Uh, kind of got in an awkward spot there. Uh, I'm sitting here, I've got no damage on it, causing me to overheat. Don't hit that wall. I just, uh, I need more practice here. I need more laps here. So I feel like I'm not doing this perfect. I feel like there's stuff I could be doing better. That's always the case, but I feel like uh, I definitely don't have this place quite down.
Come on. Looks like we're catching back up to the leader. The leader may be burning the tires off a tiny bit. Let's go back down the track, see how that feels now. It's not faster, but it is an option. Number four looks plenty comfortable on the high side. That's me. Oh, wow. Thanks so much for that. So now I'm wishing I had saved those tires, right? Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number zero one. We're under caution. It's closed. Nine point two gallons. Hmm. Now Man, you guys sure know when to bring out those cautions. I want my car to come in. Pete Road is now open. It's our open. I'm going to get the fuel, and it's going to be interesting to see. How uh, close we are to making it. Temperatures are now back to normal. The leader's pitting now. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We'll need to stop again. The pit box team, 10. A little bit early. 86, 87. Interesting. That's it. Go. You only have one tire set remaining. Okay. They want you in out in the same spot. It looks like. That's within saving range, too. So, uh, we are gonna be not using fuel as much as possible. Oh, 2.9, though? I missed the point nine part. Uh. It's our open. 2.9 gallons. Stay out here. Mm. 2.9 gallons. Seven. Oh, it's so close. So close on fuel. We doing lots of rolling here. Half that nine car two point six gallons. Very aggressive with this saving. Because I don't want to come in and top off, because I do really like this track position. I think we should be able to save that amount that we need to, even if we don't top off. So that's my idea there. We're going to be taking a very tire saving approach here. Because we are going to be also saving fuel actually in fifth, right? no I was looking at the guy that's getting a wave around I guess yeah. 
2.3 gallons. I certainly don't mind a fuel mileage race, though. That's pretty good fun. I doubt we're going to actually go green in the end, but I have to be prepared just in case we do go green. start that time. Glad I could just barely see him there. Nine got a great jump. Loose. Be doing some fuel saving. Outside. Lane open for him there. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. Two point three gallons. Just, I don't want to get railroaded either. Freight train, whatever it works. Sticking at 2.3 for now. The amount of fuel we're using will go down as well as the tires wear, because you're just going slower and being on the gas less. So, so we'll be all right. Iris says we've got 69 laps in the tank. Which would be plenty, I think, actually. It's about 59. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> that makes more sense. It's about... Yeah, so... I think iRacing is saying we should be able to do it. One point nine, we're in the ones. That was Car outside. Kinda like that it's uh getting off out of neutral kinda jolted to the left a little bit. <laughs> There's another way to get the cart turning without turning the wheel. Keep low. Two point outside clear. Hopefully I'm not in a situation where I'm having my cake and eating it too by trying to stay somewhat up to speed and also at the same time save fuel. I might end up being doing both, or doing neither rather. Inside. Keep high. Something in the wall looks like. Inside. Don't want to pass this guy again. I didn't even mean to get alongside him anymore. Clear inside. Eight 
2.8. Oh, I hope this goes to the end. I'm excited. I really want to see if I can save this fuel and then be looking, looking pretty at the end of this one. I think the term is sitting pretty. <laughs> it's hot in here, all right. The AC went out here. <laughs> kind of lightheaded. All these gasoline fumes were burning off in the air in this car. <laughs> Take the apron too because it's a shorter way around. Why is my water temp getting high? Does anyone have an explanation for that one? Stop blinking. Well, now I'm extra happy that I took the tape off. And if we get another caution, I'm going to do even more now. That's not what I want to see. You want it, man. You can take it. I'm trying to save fuel. Tires are feeling really good. Like I said, that's kind of the bonus as well as, you know, when saving tires, or saving fuel. Kind of get the uh, tires as a bonus package. I missed my turn in there. Oh well, I'll take the middle lane, whatever. It's interesting because iRacing's assessment of how many laps of fuel we have left is not agreeing with my crew chief's assessment. Crew chief's assessment says, like, we still got fuel to save here. iRacing says we're going to make it. So I don't know exactly who's to believe there. We got someone in the wall, though. Car outside. I really don't like the fact that that water temp is doing that. Is it worse when I'm going into neutral? I wouldn't think so. I would think that would make it better. Like, why? We're reaching these temps and. We're reaching those bad temps and we're going to neutral? Like. Maybe there's something I don't know about neutral that makes the temp go high like that, but I don't like that. Yeah, look at that. I didn't go in neutral that lap, and uh, but you know, it didn't flash red. What's that about? Hmm. 1.6 gallons. We're on our way. I guess if that's the case, then I'm going to the temp starts flashing down there. I don't know if you see it. It's right here. Whenever it starts flashing red, that means the water temp is high. If it starts doing that, then I'll have to give neutral a break, because it, I didn't do neutral there a second ago, and it wasn't flashing at the end of the straightaway, so that's very curious. I'm over driving a little bit. It's kind of tough going into neutral like that, entering a corner, because you don't have the normal engine braking, so you kind of enter the corner a little harder than you would expect. I should have lift up a little sooner. getting tighter. Not unbearably so, but feel it. We will uh, take the corner normally this time since we've got some water temp issues going on. Point 
six gallons. One point six, much better than uh, where we were. Two point nine to one point six. Still sticking at 1.6 though. Prefer it continue moving downward. So like if we take the high line. I know it's longer around, but Robert, that's exactly why I don't run on the bed I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, went in much too hard there. One five, we're moving in the right direction. Thirty nine laps, we would make it. Based on that assessment. I'm gonna try to make some passes here, at least pass one guy. By him. One point three. Okay. Interesting. I think it's moving in the direct right direction quickly enough that maybe we can feel a little more comfortable right now. Let's do a couple decent laps. We'll run the high line and then we'll check in uh, what it's saying in a minute. So we're at that point in the run where the tires are wearing, so we're already going slower anyway. Ooh, that's, uh, the car's loose. Really loose. I guess I've been really taking care of the tires, and... <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'm ready to turn. Are you ready to turn? Wow, yeah, okay, I think we're, I think we're fine. I think we're golden. I think we've done enough saving. Way at the rate that it seems to be going down. Holy cow, this thing's loose. <laughs> that is quite interesting how loose this thing is. Better run the lower line at this point. Uh, huh. It evens out, it looks like. How about in this corner? Corners three and four. How does it compare? Well, that looked like the low line works better, but I guess we got a long straightaway to go now, don't we? Looks to me like it probably evens out. So, at least those two laps seemed like it didn't matter. Seems a little easier to control from using the lower lane, though, so I think we're gonna go with that for now. Outside. Keep road. Clear high. Very spread out. That's that's cool. We'll just pursue the seven for a while. See if we can get closer. I wonder if I can drive a little harder. With how uh, much it's wanting to turn on throttle. Uh, it's 
tough because if you start throttling it up too much it does start to feel the wear. It's a bit of a balancing act right now. I feel like this is another situation where I'm just lacking some talent here. I feel like the real fast guys would probably be able to use the way the car is worn right now. To get this car turning and go fast through the corners. I'm not quite sure how to do that though. I want that. Modulate the throttle a little bit. Try it harder. Okay. So we'll compare that lap, and then we'll go back up to the top now and see how that how that's working. I can drive in harder on the high side than I. Okay, I'm just trying to feel it out. That was actually much faster in one and two. That's a wall. Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't hit that wall. That's about as close as you can get without hitting it. I thought it was gonna catch just fine. That's how loose it was, but it did not. Just gotta figure it out a little bit. Maybe this high line's where I wanna be. That's feeling pretty good. There's like some bumps in 3 and 4 that I think make it a little bit scarier. Make you feel like you're going to get the wall a little bit more. Next I'm going to try... There's 1 and 2 here. High line. And maybe the low line in three and four. Let's see how that compares. On the last lap thing. Nah, you just uh, don't have the runoff that you need, so high side it is. If you're going to hit it, though, that's about the way to do it. Just barely on exit. I'd rather not be tempting that fate. Where are you on the Jordan? Lots of learning going on here, though. I like it. I really hope this goes clean to the end. sideways there, but hold on to it. Okay. Just done a some laps, I like it. Not sure if we have anything for the guys ahead, though. Even that number seven ahead of us seems to be doing just fine keeping in front. Oh, 
lap time was 33.4. He's taking that middle line. Maybe I, uh, well, he's kind of going to cut down this corner. Kind of did a lower high line there, if that makes any sense. The lower side of the top lane, and uh, I did not like how that felt, so. Don't stay up here and keep doing what I'm doing. Hope it pays off eventually. I don't know though, it looks like they're driving away in front of us. How are they behind how are they doing behind us? It's about a second. Okay, that's a good corner. Yeah, there's, there's a there's a talent thing going on here where I don't have exactly as much talent as I need to to hit these lines. So it's, it's going to be on me to execute here. That lap was at 33.4. Oh, got it tight. Still getting tight. It just wouldn't st it stopped turning. That sucks. That was a lot of time lost. Just stopped turning. I think I got up in the pebbles, all the grid. I think I got real close to the wall and got didn't want to turn anymore or something. I don't know if that's what that was or not. I forgot about the fuel situation. I guess I should have been checking on that, huh? When people are screaming at me. It says 0 0.5, and here it says 17 laps, so it looks like we're just gonna make it according to this. I had a feeling it was in the good, but I should have been checking it up on it sooner. For sure. Let's not forget, that's a thing. We don't know if everybody else has been able to save. Still not where you want to be. You're killing me, 14. Say hi, please. Got lap car troubles, I guess. Outside. Clear outside. Get to quite to clear him. Patient there, Mike. Mm -hmm. You need to take care of your tires. Really? Wow, I did not expect that. That means, what, we got 50%? Okay, I did not expect that to happen. I did not expect to hear that. Huh, we should be okay. That's surprising. Very interesting. Come on, point two. What the hell are you doing, man? Point three. You just stop right in the middle of the road. You made point three, not a point two, correct? Corrected yourself already. Yeah, that was my bad. It's 23. No, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Okay, well, I just got held up a little bit. They continue to drive away from us, but 
we've been pretty consistent keeping the guy behind us about the same distance. I mean, if we pull off with this top five, that's pretty darn good. I'm very happy with that. Um, just like I, I've mentioned several times already, I'm not very great at Kansas, generally, so... That would be great news. Oh my god. Whoa. Ah, keep cutting it too close. Yeah, we're going to make it on fuel. 0 0.4 is plenty close enough. Plus, I give about an extra lap of leeway when I set the crew chief up. So we'll get an extra lap. So, iRacing says we're just going to make it. So here's hoping. Other guys can't. They did not succeed in saving enough fuel. So that could get us a couple spots, but... I'm guessing they probably were able to. Got ten left to go. We just done a thirty-three point seven. Plenty of handful though, fun to drive. Like I said, I liked the setup from the beginning. And uh it's a challenge. You definitely have to wheel it a bit. I enjoy that a lot. So, very happy with this race and how it's gone. Twelve all of a sudden is falling off real bad behind us. It looked like he was catching us for a while and then not so much anymore. Or if they got the wall or something. I'm sure uh, there's a non zero chance I'll do that at some point. I got tight right there. left on these tires. That is for sure. So, what are the odds we get at least one position? From fuel. I'm trying not to blow up here. Oh, he's having temperature troubles, just like we were. Interesting. Nah, I got you. I'm just on your tires and I don't want to be in your way. Huh. I'm like running half throttle because I'm blinking all the way around the track. Oh, what wow. about front end damage ruined it? Yeah, we were having, having water temperature guess, troubles, him having a little bit of front end damage must have just put him right over that edge. Wow. That explains why his gap has gone back. I'll say hi. Go ahead. You got five left to go. That was a pretty good corner compared to the last lap. I might have just got tight last lap though, I don't remember. The gap to Powers behind is now 4.4 seconds. You've got about five laps of fuel. Just enough. Alright, that's awesome. Okay, so we're good on fuel, for sure. Alright, Colton. Uh, we're able to save up when we needed to. All I ask is we just can go green to the end. I don't want any ugly green-white checkers, even if it may or may not benefit me. I don't want to. I do not want to do that. <laughs> I feel like everybody's kind of been able to find the spot they deserve to get. 
Oh my god. Did I actually even hit the wall? Oh my lord, that surprised me. Why did it? I was that so violent. Holy smokes. <laughs> that was something. Okay. That's a thing that happened. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess we should talk about that. Just, I barely hit the wall on uh, exit there. And it really just pulled my car to the side. Weird. Alright, it seems like we're okay. It's probably not what I want to be doing though. Just leave it to me to find something to try to potentially throw this away. Put away the top five and everything on the race. Wow. It gets real tight, especially out of turn four. Now, looks like everybody out of us is probably going to make it on fuel then. I said I thought that might be the case, but I was hoping maybe somebody would have trouble doing it. How much we end up with? Half a gallon or less as we uh, head into the final corner here. Good win, Josh. You have a about one lap of fuel left. <laughs> and I'm out of fuel. I got tight at the end there. P5, that's the finish. Good drive. Good race, good win. Flag, chicken flag. Top five! Good, good, race. good, good race number the eight. Alright. Yeah, that was fun. Good, good old fuel mileage race. Nine. Fun once in a while, for sure. Dude, that was a ball racing with you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we raced with We're the nine a little bit. Fucking racing on ice. <laughs> yeah, I really did get pretty slidey Dude, there. You're telling me, and then and then I ran out right coming through the line. Seven. I tried That's to like blow my little <laughs> sail there to get by it. Good, uh, good race. Zero X top five, right where we're supposed to finish, moved forward from our starting spot. All pretty good news. So, let's uh, see what happened out here. But uh, we had that great green flag run to the end. Look, get ourselves a better angle. That's not good. The lap five. Looks like someone's just going to get in the wall here. Not much going on. When he's getting the Xfinity Wiggles going on. Oh, almost hits the wall. The patented Xfinity Wiggles. Let's just pretend hit. That is a blink. This is something real. What happened? Oh, this is the guy that ran into the back of me the last race I did that didn't check up in time for the guy I checked up for and ran into the back of me and killed like half the field. What happened here? Okay, so now he, he kills the 21. Because <laughs> I guess he's trying to do a slide job and wasn't clear. So that's two races in a row he's wrecked people. Having a rough day, I guess. Looks like he got himself mostly though. The drive of shame around the track before they can pit. <laughs> Six gets loose and then that makes him have to go up the track. It was all momentum. It's just a blink. Don't know why we're seeing that. Don't know why we're seeing that. Oh, blink, I guess. A little bit of wall and exit, pretty much nothing though. I think I did that once. The other time I did it, it got weirdly violent, but... <laughs> There's 14 getting to the hole pretty good that time. 68 and 16th getting into the wall. Lap 24. 
We got side by side action here in the top ten with the eight. Oof. Gets on the wall and then the guy can't check up behind him. It's gonna be some more wall for the yep, 14 on exit. This is the guy that was uh behind us for that long run at the end. Apparently was having engine overheating troubles. Just some wall. Gonna be start to uh, gonna start skipping through some of these wall hits probably. Straight away wiggles. That guy already lost his butt. Ouch. Oh, okay, yeah, that was the guy that uh, got slide jobbed, but not correctly. The bell rings their bell on the corner entry. 16 exiting the pits. Is this under caution? It seems like everyone's, yeah, under caution. I don't know why we're seeing it. Oh no, that's the guy that was in second getting into the wall. I saw they eventually left too, so I wonder if they got some pretty bad damage or something from that. That might have messed up something with the steering. Free's gonna get in the wall. Wasn't turning for him. So we got some wall. Oh, pretty good wall. Gets him all sorts of unsettled. And I don't know where he's going at this point. Just kind of just along for the ride. All over the place. Wall. Uh, excuse me. It's uh, hot air in here is making me lethargic. Oh, that's why. The tin blew an engine. That's what happened to them. And then they have to take the 1x. Smart move, though, probably, because people use the apron here. And so being real slow on the apron could be a dangerous spot to be in. So that was a, a considerate move to take the 1x there in order to stay out of potential harm's way. So I see, I see what you did there. That was a very kind move to make. Wall hit there. Tidy, tidy, well hit there. Oh, I'll be out of about just so sorry. Fast forwarding. Along with this race, three got the wall pretty good, looks like. They had a rough race. So I saw they were in 20th or so. Lots of wall, lots of wall. We're going to start seeing more and more people into the wall on the latter half of this run. 22, wow. Really overcooks it. Actually, it looks like maybe they, something went wrong with their wheel. That was kind of strange. So they lift off and they seem like they're okay, but then if you notice here, it's like, it almost like, looks like their wheels turned straight there for a second. Like it's not turning as much anymore. Almost like it stopped registering the left turn for just a split moment. And it got his angle all wrong. That's kind of strange. Almost like his, he was turning his wheel left and it slipped out of his hand and moved back down to the center. That was weird. So, walls. Walls. What you gonna do? Wallaby. Eight and eighth. A wall. This is one of my wall hits, I assume. That was the tiniest one. Basically nothing. I'm sure we'll see the bigger one later. Is this it? Oh, this is probably my tire hitting 50%. Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing. 19 looks like they're about to go up into the wall. Nope, they just got tight maybe. Uh, that's probably tires hitting 50%. Here's a leader. Oh, lead gets into the wall. Did they still hang on and get the win? They did. But they made a mistake there. Yep, 
The speeds really f have fallen off. Is this my wallet? No. Still not. Uh, side by side here. Oh, what happened? Oh, I remember, I remember I'm saying something. Uh, it looked like the 23 probably thought he was going to go low here. Probably is looking right now at this point in time, seeing he's down there. And he's like, all right, I'll come up high and let him pass low. And he doesn't realize that the 12 intends to go follow him into the corner. So he was lifting off to let him by. So that was a miscommunication there. And so he runs into the back of him. I think that's probably what happened. P3, hitting a tire critical point, I guess. Everybody's doing that. A little bit of wall, maybe? I don't know. That 4 was very good at putting it very close to the wall without getting into it. I don't think I've seen him yet get into the wall yet, unless I just don't remember. But he was cutting it super close, and he's real good with that high line. Seems to me. 20... Not having as much luck. One. Getting tires. Worn. Alright. Wrapping this one up. Not too much left to see, I don't think, anyway. Other than some more wall hits. Does the four finally get in the wall? No, but doesn't look like it. Ooh, he's sideways. They're having a fun race. Assuming that guy's on the same lap as him. Looks like he's fighting like uh, like he is. Like he's fighting for a position. What did I do? Is this my big wall hit? I think it is. Oh, I hit it in just the wrong spot, I think is the problem. Because I hit it right on this corner where the safety safer barrier kind of starts ending, so it kicks my le my rear ends to the side, and it really made that worse on me. Thankfully, no two X and didn't lose any spots even. But probably uh probably not the fast line around the track if I had to guess. Step ahead, looks against the wall. Three. So a couple people might have had to pit and maybe got some new tires. Oh no! The two getting into the wall late in the run. That looks like it might have cost them a position because they were fighting right there. Wow, this is on the final corners of the final lap, too. And look, that's why. Lap car got in the way. That's a shame. That's a bummer for uh, GP back here. Just this car's got no turn left. The lap car doesn't. They're trying to keep it off the wall. It looks like they try to get out of the way, but you got to hold your line there. I know it's scary, but the best thing you can do is be predictable. And I think even though you've got the guys flying up on you, if you hold consistent there, it's probably for the best. But then he starts cutting down. It's like, no. Lap car. As a lap car, you gotta hold your line. That's the way to do it. So, it actually kills both of their momentum there, but it gives the seven the lower side and then the twos in a weird spot entering the corner maybe. Although maybe they just overdrove it and couldn't get it turned, but either way it results in them losing a spot and uh, the number four getting that spot. I think this was the guy actually that got into the wall on lap three <laughs> of the last attempt. Not the guy that ran into me that caused the big crash, but the guy that got in the wall that I had to check up for anyway, or in the first place in the last one. So that's kind of funny. But uh, that, I assume, would be the end of the incidents. It sure looks like it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. We got ourselves a nice solid top five in a somewhat strong field, I assume, given we are the five car. So I'm glad this went so much better than my first attempt. And it lasted about at 87 laps longer, too. So that's good news. Uh, appreciate you. Hope you have a good rest of your day. And I will see you next time.